we like it or not, it, it is the government of Pakistan and the, the federal government and the provincial government of Pakistan that have taken the steps. For example, I've been following, I've, I do research, I'm a researcher basically, and uh, I've uh, followed uh, what's been happening over the past five years. Uh, more, more importantly, the construction uh, and the opening of several colleges and network of schools in Pakistan, the induction of up to 5,000 Baloch youth into the Pakistan army, the, uh, the increase in the share of the Balochistan government's uh, share in the natural resources of the government of Pakistan, which is a tremendous increase. Uh, uh, and most importantly, we have a nationalist Baloch government right now in power in Quetta. Uh, people who were marginalized, uh, who were accused uh, really of uh, working against the state, were included in the political process and allowed to form a government. And they're now in power in Quetta. Dr. Abdelmanik Baloch uh, is, is a well-known Baloch nationalist who is now part of the government. Dr. Abdelmanik is part of the political process. Is the Baluchistan uh, Assembly. So uh, I, I would have loved to hear really from the experts of the panel uh, a, a, a sort of an unbiased assessment and analysis of the of the good work and the bad work, uh, the bad side of the side of things, uh, which I, I would assume was I'm, I'm, I'm sure many would agree was lacking in the in the assessments that we heard. Uh, it was mostly focused on the bad side and left out the, the positive. So uh, just these couple of uh, observations. One very last quick point is that uh, I think uh, nowhere uh, a, a, a discussion on Balochistan would be, uh, would be complete without discussing the regional dynamics of the issue. Uh, Balochistan has been part and parcel of the Cold War uh, starting in the 1960s. Uh, it was used by various players uh, in addition, of course, to Pakistan, which many of the panelists made a part in. Uh, we've had the former Soviet Union, we've had uh, India, we've had uh, of course Iran. Recently we've seen an increase, uh, yes, recently we've seen an increase uh, in, uh, in the number of American politicians who've been talking about which is not started to add the United States to the list of countries that exploited this issue. So mainly, Balochistan, a humanitarian issue, needs to be approached again. Uh, well, do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, just a second, sir. Please, please, you please. asked a question, please. you need to listen to the answer. Yes, sir, just a second. No, you're not. Just a second. You're not supposed to come. Would you, would you are asking to raise please listen. Let me don't, don't get into dialogue, please. Would you raise the issue no. of the dialogue is bad. That's what you mean? Listen, are you representing Pakistan over here? I mentioned, I said there Professor Sabi Shri. Just a second. I need to answer your question. You are suggesting that you kidnap a woman, rape her, and because you send her breakfast in the morning, she should thank you. Shame on you, sir. for the question that was raised to you. Excuse me, Mr. Fadeh, you should also talk about militants kidnapping here. No, I won't, please. I won't. Militants I'm 65 years, I've spent twice jail in Balochistan, and how dare you suggest that you shower your pennies at the Baloch and they should thank you. You are not Her Majesty's spokesman from the Viceroy's office. You are merely an ISI spokesman. Thank <laughs> you.